Hello everyone! Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today it's time for a Friday haul. It's Friday, June 12th. Hope everybody's doing great. Everything's good here. Um, yeah, everything's fine. So I just thought I would show you what I got this week. I did end up getting a bunch of stuff. A lot of things online, so that was good. Um, the first thing is I ordered this stack of felt from Benzie Designs, and this company was recommended to me by uh, Marilyn G. You might know her. You might follow her on YouTube. She does a lot of good paper crafting videos, but she also does a lot of felt projects, too. And I do. I love to embroider. I love to use felt and make stitcheries and that kind of thing. So I have this um, pattern that I got from Penny Lane Primitives. And um, let me just bring it up so you can see it. It's like a, a, a cute little old fashioned scene of a laundry room. And I do have a washboard in my laundry room. So I'm going to make this and put it in there. Um, I ordered this stack of beautiful felts from Benzie Design and they're just so pretty the colors if you can see and they're a stack of I think they're 12 by 18 sheets so I'm gonna make that I can't wait I love making those kind of things there just aren't enough hours in the day to do all the crafting things that I want to do but um, I haven't embroidered in a while so I'm looking forward to making that and this company was great. It, it, she's on Etsy, and she shipped out really, really quickly. Um, again, it's Benzie Design, and apparently you can get it from Amazon, too, and maybe, oh, yeah, and she has a website, too, benzydesign.com. So, yeah, and let me show you what else I got from there, too. Um, you can pick four different colors of their felts and order this. It's called Felt Confetti. But if you notice, you can twist these and make flowers. Or not if you notice, but if you know what this shape is. So I did make a couple to show you guys. And isn't that cute? You can use these in any of your, you know, paper crafting projects. So I made a few. There's like two different sizes. There's a small one and a large one. So those are three of the colors that I made. There's also a darker pink in here. Oops, dropped one. So, um, yeah, I'll put a link to these down below, too. But I figured, of course, I chose two shades of pink and two shades of aqua. So those are super fun to make. And if you have a die that can, like a steel roll die that can cut felt um, in the shape, that would be fun to do. But I don't have that. But, yeah, maybe I'll look into that so I can make some more out of these pretty, pretty designs. So anyway, this is, you know, a different crafting thing. Thought you might be interested in what other kinds of crafts I do and, you know, have on my list of things to do. <laughs> but I did get the typical things this week, too. Um, I got a few things from Zulily. They just keep trickling in. So I got these small craft scissors. And I just love the color. I think they're, yeah, they're American crafts. So if anyone has these, let me know what you think about them. They're five and a half inch scissors, so I thought like a good in-between size. So that was from Zulily. Um, is there anything else I got from there? I think that was, oh, uh, no, I got this die set too. This, I already opened it, that's why it's kind of um, falling all over the place. But this is a great flower set. I've been having so much fun playing with this, and I'll show you some of the flowers that I made. It's called Cinch and Go Flowers 3. And I like it because all these are stuck together on one die. So you just, you know, put it once through your die cutting machine, and it cuts out really, really easily. And the individual petals are cut out too, so you could just, you know, cinch them up really, really quickly. Um, it comes with this leaf sprig too. This, I'm really not sure what it is. I assume it's like a leaf for the uh, for the flowers, but it do, I tried it. It doesn't really go. I was thinking maybe you can use it as like a top of a strawberry, actually. And I tried to make one of these into a strawberry. It didn't work. But if you guys have this and you use that, please let me know how you use that dye. But anyway, this is one of the flowers that I made. Isn't that cute? It's really easy to put together. I just put a, a brad through all the different layers, as you can see. And I put, I've never done this before. I put like a sequin 
um, under the bread, so it looks kind of like a little flower center. I think that came out really cute, right? So this is some sweet story paper. Another one I made is this one. This is also sweet story. Um, just some leftover polka dot paper I had, and I used a tinier sequin for the flower center and the bread. So uh, I really recommend this die set if you can grab it. Um, I don't know if it's still on Zulily. I'm sure it's an older one because Zulily usually gets older things. But yeah, that's that's a great die set. I'm really glad I got that. I was at Target with my daughter and I saw these cute stickers in the card section. Aren't they adorable? They're, they were kind of expensive. I think they were like three bucks and there's only 23 stickers in here, but I just love them. I think they're a great size, as you can see by my hand, and they'll be great for cards. So really, really cute mermaids. There's some seahorses and yeah, I just, I love them. I love the pastel colors that they're wearing. So yeah, got that. Let's see, from Walmart. I don't know if you remember last week, in my last week haul, I had gotten two things of gold beading wire by mistake. So I got a silver one this time. So, and this was from Walmart, as I just said. And, oh, and uh, remember last week I showed that gumball die that I made? Um, one of my, I forget who, I'm sorry, I meant to look it up beforehand. But one of uh, the comments told me that Tim Holtz makes like little domes to go on those so thank you so much i ordered them from amazon because they were like five bucks with free shipping so i got these they're called dimensional domes and i guess they're really for uh well i don't know if what if they're for something specific but i think these will go perfect in those gumball machines so thank you so much again for recommending that recommending those i love you guys okay um got a few things from ally I got some charms. I got these. They're look at these. They're cute little cookbooks. Let me take one out. Uh, I was making mixer embellishments, like I made for Scrap Diva 29's challenge, and I thought these would go cute hanging from there. Focus. Uh, yeah, there you can see. Isn't that cute? It's like a little muffin on a tablecloth, and it says cookbook. Ah, oh, so cute. So I will link those down below too, if you're interested. And I got another set of charms too. I had these before. Well, I had one of them before. They came in a pack that I got from AC Moore, like a cooking pack, but this is just a whole bunch of the measuring cup charms. Cute, right? So same thing I thought for those mixers. So that was, no. One more thing from Allie. I got a memory deck set. And it comes with this pretty stitched memory decks and this layering piece. And then it came with two, oh, where'd they go? Whoops, I lost them. There were two other little parts to it. Oh man, I meant to keep them all together. But um, anyway, it's not important because I didn't really like them anyway, but I'll link it down below so you can see. Um, but this is an example of one that I made. I used the It's a Boy paper that I got from Joann's for the background. This was, this polka dot paper was from that new Jelly Bean Soup pad that I had gotten. And I just uh, made a vellum pocket here. And this is an old Alina craft die I had. And it's a cute little envelope with a piece of paper. And I just added a little jump ring and a Maggie Holmes charm. Thought it went pretty well with that. I added an eyelet and a cute little tassel from Joanne, some pale yellow sheer ribbon, and I'm just gonna, I'll put my information on the back, but I just wanted to try something different with a color combination, and I love blue and yellow. It looks so like, I don't know, French country or something. But anyway, that's an example of that Memory Dex card. Cuts really well. I like that a lot. So I'll link that down below. And, and if you're interested, you can see the other little random pieces it comes with. All right. So let's move on. I have stuff from Michaels and Dollar Tree left. So let's do Dollar Tree. I went there a few times this week just to get random things. So got some 
crafts, of course. I got two things of ribbon, and I hadn't, I don't think I've seen these there before. They're like sparkly ribbon. I got a yellow and a pink. And they have, it's like multicolored glitter. I hope there's not much fallout because that drives me crazy, but I figured I'd try it. I got this cute pen with a squishy waffle on it. Thought he was adorable, so I thought that would be cute to add to like some happy mail or something. I got this set of paint brushes because I did use some paint. Uh, when did I paint last? Mm. I don't remember, but I used up a few brushes, so I wanted to get a new set. And these are good, because if they get gross after one project, you could just toss them if you forget to clean them or something. I got some more of my favorite mounting tape. I use this all the time for layered cards and layered projects. I think it works great. So I always like to keep at least one pack um, on standby. Oh, I got another ribbon. This is just like a sheer uh, pretty pink ribbon. I love this one. So I have, I've had that before. I got, oh, well, this is kind of random, but I got a uh, glass screen protector for my phone. And I don't know if you guys have bought these from Dollar Tree before, but they work really well. Uh, I have a pack from, that I bought from Amazon, not this brand, different ones, and they break really easily. So uh, I think these work really, really well and you can get them to fit your phone. And uh, for just a dollar, these are a great buy. And j just within the past, I don't know, like month or so, they've come up, come out with this size, which is what I have. I have an ele uh, iPhone 11 Pro, so it, yeah, it's great. I recommend those highly. I got these beautiful little stickers. Aren't they pretty? Little blings. And they're just like puffy stickers. Not puffy, just raised stickers. And I just love the colors, like the pretty aqua, and there's lots of pastels can't beat that for a dollar, right? I was looking for those Kane Company Halloween stickers, like the borders that people have been getting. There's nothing like that in my store. No Kane Company, no Heidi Swap. So whatever, maybe we'll get it eventually. But I did find these pom-pom magnets. Aren't they cute? So I thought maybe they'd be fun for my magnetic cart. It can maybe even hang things from it if the magnet's strong enough. So yeah, found those. Speaking of magnets, I got these magnetic buttons, good for closures. And, oh, I got these puffy stickers. They had these in like a, a cat theme too, and unicorns. So super cute, and these are puffy, they're squishy. But I love all the different sizes of hearts, and it's a good size for a dollar. Puffy molded stickers. Okay, anything else from Dollar Tree? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's move on to Michael's. I did order some things online from Michael's before the Michael's in my area opened. I just move stuff over a little bit. So let's see. let me just show you. Yeah, I'll show you my online order. Uh, but I'm glad I got this online because my Michael's was out of it when I finally went. But I got this planner and it's an 18 month spiral planner. And it's a craft theme, at least the cover is. I was hoping that there'd be more crafty stuff inside, I'm trying to avoid the glare. But it's really just mostly the cover, but it's cute. Um, July 2020 to December 2021, and my current planner is going to run out this summer. So so let's just look inside quick. Oh, I didn't even see this before. It comes with like a, like a Ziploc pouch inside. So that's nice. And, okay, so it has a little bit of 2020. Okay, there. Oh, I see. These are just like monthly calendars. Hi, guys. And it has some stickers, date night, blank ones, day off, happy birthday. Let me just show you guys. Let me see. Appointment. So those are cute. I don't go crazy with my planner just because, I, I don't know, I've tried and I, don't, I just don't have the inclination to spend a lot of time decorating it. I don't know why. I just I feel, I feel like I'm going to be the only, only one looking at it and then I'm going to throw it out. So I don't know. I just haven't been that inspired to go crazy with the planner, although I'd, I love all planner stuff. Okay, there are these stickers. Eh, 
they're all right. Kind of a little juvenile, I think. But Well, these are cute. You can, you know, add notes and stuff. Um, <laughs> cute little stickers. I like to use these, like, tell me when I want to go shopping or when I'm supposed to go shopping or I have a dentist appointment or haircut, doctor. And there are some emoji ones. I won't use those that much. And there's some pockets. And then it goes into each month and the layout is like this. And I like that's dated already. I've tried undated planners, but I just get so bored trying to fill everything out. So yeah, anyway, that's the planner. Each month is divided up and I was hoping there'd be more like crafty graphics on there, like the Happy Planner has in their crafty planner, but there isn't, but that's okay. I do like it anyway. So that was, I think it's normally $30, but it was on sale for $20, so, so I got it. And that's all the things it comes with, if you're interested. Okay, also from online, I got this set of embroidery floss. I was thinking I might be able to use this with my new embroidery project. And this is, they have this in the stores too. It's uh, the Sweets Collection by Prism. Aren't those beautiful colors? Love them. I thought they'd go good with those pastels I just got. I got this package of bling. They're kind of like iridescent pastel colors. Aren't they pretty? Always need more bling because I use it a lot. I got this. All right, there's going to be a major glare. I'm sorry. I'll try to avoid it. This pack up. I've never seen Michael sell like their own brand of acetate sheets. It did say that, I think it said it was online only, either that or it did, they didn't sell it in my store. So uh, it's a pack of 12, 12 by 12 acetate sheets. So I will link it down below if you're interested. And how much did I pay for this? It was $6.49, so not bad. I should open it up to see how thick it is. Um, no, let's do that. Sorry for that noise. Oh boy, that's horrible, huh? Okay. Okay. All right, that's a nice thickness. I would definitely use that on shakers. I'm always worried it's going to be too thin, you know? But this feels good. That's a good weight. Okay, yeah, I'll link that down below if you're interested. I also got oh, more glaring things. This uh, this pack of foil cardstock paper. I've seen a bunch of people haul this, so I figured I would give it a try. And it's got these pretty pastel foils. I'm pretty sure these have the, yeah, the craft paper on the back, which doesn't bother me. I know some people don't like it, but, you know, it's okay. I guess they have to do that when they're making the pastels so, or making the foils. So. so, yeah, there's that. Okay, I had to redo this part of the video for some reason. So anyway, let's move on to the things I got from Michael's in the store. I was in a different part of town and I went to their Michael's and they had a lot of beads and charms, um, a bunch of charms that were actually on clearance. So let me show you guys what I got. I got these elephants, which I thought were so cute. They're so cute in 3D and the little eyes are gems. And their trunks up, which is good luck, of course. See how nice and chunky they are? So yeah, these were $1.97 instead of $2.97. So I thought that was good for three of them, right? I got this pretty key that has, um, it's like very gemmy around the crown, if you can see that. And it's a nice silver charm, nice size too. Glad to get that. I got this sweet little watermelon charm which is super cute, 97 cents. Um, I got two of these hot air balloons. Aren't they adorable? There's, they're, uh, they're enamel. There's pink and white and like a blue color on the balloon part. It has a little gem, or not a gem, but like a cute little hanging basket there. So just cute, right? Oh, perfect for like carousel and that sort of thing. So yeah, I got two of those. There's the other one. I got, okay, they're 
strung beads were there they were all 2.99 regardless of the color tag that they are so i got this string of these are glass semi-precious beads i'm not sure what oh it says quartz okay so they're quartz crackle pink 10 millimeter aren't they beautiful i just love that shade of pink and all the crackling in there it's nice to have some beads that aren't plastic, you know? I mean, not, not that I have anything against plastic Plastic beads. They're perfect for dangles, and they're nice and lightweight, but it's nice to have a variety, too. I'm getting quite a bead collection here. Yes, I am. I also got this string. Now, this one was on clearance for $2.37, so a little bit cheaper, but these are also like that crackle finish, and there are some little spacer beads in between. I like the colors of these two. This one's kind of like white and blue and pink all together. And the blue, kind of bluey silver spacer beads. So these are called, huh, does not say. Crackle glass with metal spacer. Okay, that's what that one is. And I got another thing of strung beads. These were also on sale for $2.99. And I like this because it's a variety of different pastel colors. And they're kind of like marbled, uh, translucent. There's pink. I really like the yellow one. I have some yellow plastic beads, but I don't have any like glass ones. So I like those a lot. Right? These kind of remind me of like sherbet or ice cream or something like that. So these are called Quartzite Stone. 10 millimeter round. So pretty, right? Just love that assortment of colors. I got um, these beads. These are like in the kids' crafting section. And these are plastic. I love these stripes. Aren't they so cute? They're so good for summer projects, I think. And what's nice is the holes have different sizes. So, you know, some some uh, stringing material you want to use, like floss or whatever. Some of it just doesn't fit through the tiny little holes. So it's good to have a variety, I think. And this, the beads themselves are different sizes. There's small ones and larger ones. Love those colors. And then I got the, I think this one was on clearance. And it has some of the small, I don't know if they're the same. No, this is like a brighter pink in this pack. So it has some of the small striped ones. And then it has, I really like this like um, aqua color. And then there are these giant pink ones and smaller pink ones. The white ones. So I think that's all I got in the store when I went. So I, yeah, I did say I was going to stay out of craft stores this week, but I did, pr I did pretty good staying out of stores. I just went to Michael's once and I don't count Dollar Tree as a craft store because I go there for other stuff. <laughs> that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Yeah. Well, if you've stuck with me this far, thank you so much for joining me today. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribe. Once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway. So I'm so excited about that. So uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. I, I'm really anxious to do this. <laughs> um, I think I'm like at 860 or something like that. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribes. I really appreciate you. So many people leave me really nice comments and, and helpful comments too. I just... I really love interacting with you guys and I try to write back to everybody too because you know without without you guys I wouldn't enjoy this so much so thanks again join me on Instagram too I uh I post a lot there I try and post every day different projects I'm working on so there'll be a link down below if you want to join me over there if you're not there yet so that's it have a great Father's Day weekend everybody hope you get to celebrate with the dads in your life. Um, my dad lives kind of far away from me, so I won't be seeing him this weekend, but uh, I'll be FaceTiming him, of course. And and uh, also, my husband was here, obviously, so we'll celebrate with him. We'll make him breakfast and maybe grill outside, give him some presents, and just make sure he knows how much he means to me and the kids. So on that note, I will leave now and hope you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye.